MHC2 is able to present antigen just as MHC1 is. However, there is a very different response from the immune system when antigen is presented on MHC1 than MHC2. MHC2 alerts the immune system to an infection, and antigen presentation on MHC2 is what initiates the adaptive immune response to viral infection. MHC2 is normally only present on certain cells of the immune system, and mainly on dendritic cells. When a viral infection has occurred, the virus or viral proteins, including viral antigen that are circulating through the blood and tissues, can be engulfed by dendritic cells. Now that the viral antigen is present in the cytoplasm of the dendritic cell, the dendritic cell can load the viral antigen onto MHC2 and present the viral antigen. Since the dendritic cell is not actually infected, the immune system does not kill the dendritic cell. Rather, viral antigen on MHC2 leads to activation of CD4 T helper cells that have T cell receptors specific to the viral antigen being presented. After activation, the CD4 helper T cells interact with CD8 cytotoxic T cells specific to this viral antigen, as well as B cells specific to the antigen, which causes them to proliferate. The CD4 helper T cells secrete chemical messengers that cause these CD8 T cells and B cells to make many, many clones of themselves, resulting in a vast proliferation of the number of cells specific to this viral infection. While many of these cells die after the infection is over, some of these cells will remain as memory T cells and memory B cells. Thus, it is antigen presentation on MHC2 that induces the immune response necessary to generate immunological memory so that disease does not occur upon a future exposure to the same virus. The goal of vaccination is to produce immunological memory without disease occurring. Therefore, the strongest immune response a vaccine can generate is a response that leads to antigen presentation on MHC2 to initiate the immune response that will produce memory T and memory B cells. Traditionally, vaccines have taken the form of live attenuated or inactivated. Live attenuated vaccines consist of a form of the virus that has been modified to prevent replication. Injecting this modified form of the virus can lead to MHC2 viral antigen presentation without disease occurring. The main challenge in producing live attenuated vaccines is how labor-intensive and time-consuming it is to modify the virus so that it will not replicate. Inactivated vaccines do not use the whole virus, only portions of the virus, such as spike proteins. While this eases the production requirements, Immune responses are generally weaker and sometimes not long-lasting with inactivated vaccines. mRNA vaccines were developed to address the limitations of live attenuated and inactivated vaccines. Instead of the virus or parts of the virus, mRNA vaccines consist of mRNA that codes for the viral antigen. After being injected into the body, the mRNA is drawn to dendritic cells, and the dendritic cells take up the mRNA from the vaccine. Now that the mRNA from the vaccine is in the cytoplasm of the dendritic cells, the mRNA is able to connect with the ribosomes and be translated. Since the mRNA codes for the viral antigen, this means as the mRNA is translated, it is producing the viral antigen, which is then presented on the MHC2 of the dendritic cell. This antigen presentation will then initiate the immune response from CD4 T helper cells, eventually resulting in production of memory B cells and memory T cells, providing immunological memory. How mRNA vaccines differ from other vaccines is that the viral antigen can be produced without the virus being present in the body. Even the step of transcription is not needed, as the mRNA is already present in the cytoplasm, and there is no risk of disease as with introducing a virus into the body. This allows for a much more rapid and easier vaccine production than is seen with live attenuated vaccines, and a stronger immune response than is generally seen with inactivated vaccines. If you liked this video, please subscribe to